Compound butter is a delicious and easy way to elevate any butter with the use of herbs, lemon, and all sorts of other delicious ingredients that you can add to it. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dill lemon compound butter, and this goes delicious with any sort of poultry, roasted meat, or even a fish, and you'll never want to eat butter by itself again. So we're going to start with some softened butter, and I always use grass-fed butter, and I've gone ahead and cut it into some cubes just so that it's easier to kind of soften and press into. And we are going to start to add in our herby mixture. So I have about a quarter of a cup of fresh dill and I love dill with butter and lemon and the fragrance of it. It's just so, so delicious. So we're going to go ahead and add that in and we've got some lemon juice and I've got the zest of that same lemon, a little bit of sea salt because I'm using unsalted butter. If you're using salted butter, you're going to want to make sure that you don't add any extra salt. And of course, we've got some garlic powder. So again, this is a garlic and lemon one. So I'm gonna use a spoon just to get this all combined and mashed together in here. And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to roll into a beautiful and decorative compound butter log that is gonna wow all your guests when you serve this with any sort of delicious meat. Um, another way I like to use compound butter is I like to use it when I roast a chicken. Now you can make the compound butter and you can make sure to rub it under the skin before you roast a chicken and it makes it so flavorful. For chicken, you can either use this one that we're making here today with the dill or you can also do one with rosemary, which is absolutely delicious and works great on roasted birds. So that's it. You can see that this mixes together quite easily and you just want to make sure that it gets fully combined. So we'll just give this another second here and make sure all that dill gets pressed in there. And that's it. So now I'm gonna show you how to roll this into a log, which is quite easy and it looks a little intimidating. So let's go ahead and get this rolled into the paper here. Now to roll it into our log, I've got a sheet of parchment paper here and you wanna use one that's at least nine by 12. And we're just gonna go ahead and take our softened butter mixture and put that into our the middle of our parchment paper. And now you wanna spread it out just a little bit because we are trying to form this into a log shape. So you can use your hands at this point, you can scoop it out with different areas with your spoon, but you really wanna get it pretty centered in that log area. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start to create a log form. So just rolling it back and forth, trying to get that as even as possible. And you can make it as thin or as thick as you want. I usually like to do about a one inch diameter um, just to make it pretty even. And you don't really need more than that for your bites along with your meats and things like that. So you don't need to make it too, too big. So again, we're just gonna try to roll that shape as much as we can. And then once you have it to the size that you want, you're gonna go ahead and start on one end here. Try to get your log down to as far down as you possibly can. And then now you're gonna to start to wrap it. Now, again, this is where you can really fine tune the shape of your log. You wanna make it as even as possible. Try to get those creases out of your paper so it doesn't indent too much on your compound butter. And that's it. We're just gonna quickly and evenly roll this until it's fully rolled at the end. And then I like to give the end of my paper just a quick little twist just to make sure it's sealed in there. And that's it. We're gonna put this back in the refrigerator. We're gonna let it harden at least about an hour or so. So I definitely recommend making this either the day before you have something planned to use it on or a couple hours before. You definitely want it to harden up against this. It's been so softened. And that's it. This is gonna harden into the most delicious butter you've ever had with all those herbs, that lemon, the zest, the garlic. It's so flavorful. You're gonna love this. So you can get this recipe on my website, thetrailtohealth.com, and you can find other healthy and delicious recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website and Amazon as well.